chalo mana ganga jamuna tire we are going to make these three barely cook coolers for summer because you don't want to be spending your time in the kitchen and the weather is getting hotter and hotter and hotter so we need to do something that is fast free easy to make easy to prepare few ingredients and always delicious nourishing beautiful to look at so let's get started the first one is yogurt rice the second one is a carrot salad no don't roll your eyes here this is not your regular typical carrot salad let me tell you that number 3 we are going to make nimbu pani which is lemonade but it's beyond lemonade and all of these three are no cook dishes you're going to use leftover rice we are going to use carrots tomatoes and a few spices we are going to use fresh squeezed lime and we are going to use lots of love i need a few ingredients from my fridge so i'm going to pull out that's two cups carrots that would be about three of these beauties i need yogurt i have my coconut yogurt but you can pretty much use any yogurt curry leaves i typically wash them dry them and then store them so i can use it over and over again i need a lime then i also need food supplies i need cilantro story on why in a plastic bag watch to find out all of these i got tomatoes outside i have my rice let me show you the rice now this is brown rice that has been soaking in water overnight and the soaking in the water makes it probiotic beyond your imagination digestible this is what we are going to use to make our yogurt rice with add salt to taste and then add in half a cup of yogurt of your choice i use coconut yogurt and mix everything thoroughly we'd make this dish with milk and then in the train journey that took about 3 days that milk would become yogurt just ready to eat let's start to make the dressing let the pan come to hot take about a tablespoon of oil we need hing there is the hing next is the mustard seeds i'm going to use about jamuna ti chalo man ganga jamuna ti ganga jamuna nirmal pani handy little tip about your pan the outside of the pan as you're pouring the oil dressing on top of the yogurt rice the outside of the pan could have some of the oil streaking through so please be ganga jamuna nirmal pani ganga jamuna nirmal pani ganga jamuna nirmal pani शीतल होते शरीर चलो मन शीतल रेड फॉर आवर इंडियन समर रेसिपी नंबर 2 व्हिच इज कैरेट सैलेड होते शरीर चलो मन गंगा जमुना तीर चलो मन गंगा जमुना बंसी बजावत कावत कान्हा 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 संगलिए बलबीर चलो मन 
ಸಂಗಲಿ ಬಲಬೀರ ಚಲೋ ಮನ ಗಂಗಾ ಜಮುನಾ ತೀರ ಚಲೋ ಮನ ಗಂಗಾ ಜಮುನಾ You don't sacrifice speed when you get mindful. That's a misnomer. You can still be fast and furious, but you can be mindful. Pretty odd dichotomy, right? But watch and I'll share some tips on how you can accomplish both. mindfulness that you use in the prep process is the sweetness you'll get out of the food in the end this energy that we are devoting in the cutting of the fruit into the the vegetable or the fruit of the same size that mindfulness is going to get translated the energetic mindfulness is going to get translated into prana prana is life energy that's what you want to get when you eat fresh food lots of life energy so we'll drop that into our ready waiting bowl and then we have one more task to do here i'm going to chop up the cilantro so here is my cilantro bag of cilantro here's a little secret on cilantro storage store in a white plastic bag for opacity and inside that a white kitchen towel and this will guarantee that and i've done this for years that your cilantro will stay fresh for weeks and it and in from here to every now and then examine and remove any of the cilantro for example this one that has kind of brown edges because they will spread and they will do that to the entire bag we don't want any spreads happening so i'm going to take a whack of cilantro i like them and for measures i'm going to say about 3 tablespoons and you do you if you want less add less if you want more add more but be sure you remove any of the yellowed brown cilantro and even this one won't pass my test let's see then i'm going to grab more since i reduced some and there's one more here that is not meeting my expectations you see how yellow it is how yellow it is and i want it to be green so the yellow brown i am removing the more often we do this with our choices in food the purer is the food that goes inside transformed to prana energy life force so take the time to do that for yourself so i got a whack a good chunk i'm going to fold away my cilantro put it back in my white plastic bag I hope that tip was useful. Try it out next time. Give the cilantro a good, good, good rinse. Just really, really, really well. And I'm going to remove the woody rooted ends. And then also because those are the ends where dirt is sticking, I'm again going to get that end and give that a rinse. Hot water this time. And then back it is to the chopping board. So there are two pieces of the cilantro I want you to think about. The piece that is the stem, we're going to use that as a garnish. See how pretty it is. Don't throw them away. And then as we get closer to the leaves, we're going to do some fine mincing. And if you find any spots, any brown spots that you might have missed earlier, 
remove those. So the larger leafy segments is what we're going to drop into the salad bowl. Because the next thing we're going to do is make the dressing for the salad. So this time I'm going to take again a tablespoon of oil. You can use less or more as you choose. The pan is hot, the oil isn't. So we'll start again with a teaspoon of the mustard seeds and then we're going to add some crunch. A teaspoon of split chickpeas and here's a magic ingredient urad dal i think there's a name for it and i'll post it for you later we let that splutter i think i might have forgotten the hang if, if you have you can always add it later now why did i do this always mustard must heat the pot first it takes some time to splutter i've seen too many recipes and too many cooks asking you to put the cumin first and then the mustard wrong bad idea cumin burns very fast so please take some precautions with your spices put the mustard in follow best practices and there is no problem in letting the split chickpeas and the urad dal in the oil at the same time they take a little longer to brown so you can do them all together after the mustard seeds this pan of mine is a bit tipsy so next time I'll use my stand to put on here. In fact, I might do it just now. See if I can grab it. Here's a nice little stand I got in Chinatown. I'm going to just put that on. So do some safe practices here. Mira ke Prabhu Mira ke Prabhu Mira ke Prabhu Giri Nagara 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 Charan Kamal Parasir Chalo Mana Charan Kamal Parasir Chalo Mana Ganga Jamuna Teer 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 Chalo Mana Ganga Jamuna Ganga Jamuna Pani was the first word I uttered when I started speaking. And it's the word that is most needed in hot climates. And in hot temperatures, we turn to water. So this water is full of electrolytes. It is hydrating, full of electrolytes. I have my pitcher. I have my fresh limes, I also have my lime juicer, I have my mint sprigs, black salt. We need this to complete making rainbow pani. So I dropped in the mint. My list is um, black salt. So black salt is kind of a pungent salt that use in moderation. I'm going to use a quarter teaspoon. Everything is stirred. Ah, 
custard crunch. Black salt, adding the tanginess into my nimbu pani. It just wouldn't be the same with regular salt. So if you like the three summer coolers and you like all the handy little tips I shared along the way, feel free to subscribe and I'll see you next time. Gaja Munati Chalomana Gangaja